In this unit circle survival guide, we'll use the SARC method to find the exact value of tangent of negative pi over 6. So here's our outline, and SARC, remember, stands for S-A-R-C, sketch the angle for the S, A for ASTC to decide the sign of your exact value, R to find your reference triangle and appropriate coordinates, and C to calculate. So let's do this for tangent of negative pi over 6. We start first by sketching our angle. So remember, an angle with a negative sign simply means you should rotate in the clockwise direction. So from standard position, we rotate pi over 6, and that puts our terminal side about here in the fourth quadrant. Okay, if you wanted to find a coterminal angle instead of dealing with the negative angle, you could do that. So you could find an angle that is coterminal to negative pi over 6 by just adding 2 pi, which is a full rotation. And instead of writing 2 pi, we should write that as 12 pi over 6. So see, that's still 2 pi, but now you have a common denominator. And so that coterminal angle would be 11 pi over 6. And that angle, 11 pi over 6, is coterminal to negative pi over 6. So if you wanted to find the tangent of 11 pi over 6, you'll get the same answer as you will for tangent of negative pi over 6. All right, so back to our sketch. We have our terminal side sketch, and now we're ready to move on to step two, using ASTC to decide if our exact value final answer should be positive or negative. So remember, this acronym ASTC is all students take classes, and we should work our way starting in quadrant one, ASTC. These letters remind us which trig functions and their corresponding reciprocals will be positive in each of the quadrants. So in quadrant one, all trig functions are positive. In quadrant two, sine and cosecant are positive. All the rest are negative. And likewise, in quadrant three, tangent and cotangent are positive, while the rest are negative. And in quadrant four, cosine and secant are positive. So we're in quadrant four, and we're trying to find the tangent. So we just said only cosine and secant are positive in quadrant four. Thus, our tangent of negative pi over six must be negative. So let's make a note of that and go ahead and mark it for your final answer, just so we don't forget. All right, next, we want to find our reference triangle. So to do that, first find the reference angle, which is just the amount of rotation from terminal side to x-axis. And so we see that's pi over six. And pi over 6 is the same thing as 30, so we'll be working with the special right triangle that's a 30, 60, 90, like this right here. We don't have to worry about signs. We've already dealt with that in step 2. All we want is what coordinates are associated with this angle in the first quadrant. So we see the horizontal leg is our long leg, so that should be square root of 3 over 2 for the x-coordinate. And of course, the shorter leg then is our vertical leg, so the y-coordinate will be 1 half. And now we'll use these coordinates, as we need them, to calculate the tangent in step four. So we know our unit circle ratio for tangent is the tangent of an angle is going to be the y-coordinate divided by the x-coordinate. All right, so we have those coordinates in step three, and all we need to do is one-half divided by square root of three over two. So we'll write one-half, and instead of dividing by the fraction, let's multiply by the reciprocal. So it's going to be two over the square root of three, Okay, since these are fractions, we can cross cancel those twos reduce down to one since they have a common factor of two. And we're left with one over the square root of three. Of course, we want to rationalize this. So you may know how this rationalizes already. If not, just quickly multiply by square root of three over square root of three to deal with that radical that's in the denominator. And we'll see that that simplifies to the square root of three over three. So that's our value. We know that it is negative since we are in the fourth quadrant, and we know that the tangent of negative pi over 6 must be negative square root of 3 over 3. I'll post some links in the video description for more examples of worked out exact values, so be sure to check those out, and thank you so much for watching.